The Kia EV6, Hyundai Ioniq 5, and Genesis GV60 are three of our favorite all-electric crossovers, but they all kind of occupy largely a similar place in the market. With the new Kia EV9, Kia is breaking away from its corporate siblings and taking everything it knows about the Telluride SUV and attaching it to the flat floor, quick charging EGMP architecture to create the brand's first ever all electric three row crossover. So let's take a look at the EV9, which changes the script for Kia crossovers in a pretty major way. Starting up front, we have a closed off grill, and this is not just a Tiger nose now, it is a Tiger mask. That is the branding name for it. And you can see it, it is closed off. There are no vents, no grills of any kind. The only bits are right down here. You get these new LED lights. These are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They're gonna be lighting effects when the production version debuts. Right now, they're not working, but look for those at the big debut later on. Around the sides, the entire thing has very, very short front and rear overhangs. It has this big, blocky painted trim and these trapezoidal wheel arches that look really, really neat give it kind of an air of off-road ability, even though it's not really an off-road vehicle. One of the things I really love is the way that the trim moves with the doors. So you have this really low, easy ingress and egress. But my favorite part of the design so far are the wheel options. Now this is one option, this kind of cubic four spoke design. Over on the other car, which is just a shell, you have a three spoke design that is just as neat. In back, we have this star map signature lighting scheme. That's what it's called according to Kia. It's got a little bit of Escalade to it, a little bit of Volvo. These LED accents are gorgeous. And of course you get this flat chopped back end and this really meaty rear spoiler to help with the aerodynamics. Now let's take a look at the cabin because there are more impressive things inside. All right, here we are in the cabin. And as you can see, it is quite different than any Kia that has come before. And that's because of the use of negative space. You can see it on the dash on this inset and on the doors. It takes this traditional slab style display and doesn't make it feel quite as tacked on. This is a more natural environment. The use of sustainable materials in here, both on the dash and on the seats is gorgeous. I really admire what Kia is doing here. This is the same familiar infotainment system, but it has these fun little hidden haptic buttons. There are just these buttons here for the climate controls and these hidden buttons here. And beyond that, it's all touch controls. That is futuristic and most importantly, it works well you still have a physical control for the volume. You still have physical controls for the climate. It is not strictly touch-based. Beyond that, the cabin is very, very roomy. I'm plenty comfortable here in the driver's seat, and I've even climbed into the third row, and while I'm 6'2", there was enough room back there that I could spend you know, 45 minutes, an hour, without too much complaint. Overall, I love this cabin. I think Kia has really advanced what it's doing. It feels much more futuristic, and the use of sustainable options is admirable. And it all feels quite good too. Kia isn't sharing technical details of the EV9 just yet, but its New York Auto Show debut is something of an open secret. We know it's coming and we're gonna find out very soon just how far it will go on a charge, how fast it will get to 60, and what kind of charging options are available for families, including pricing. For now, this looks like a really compelling option and a hugely, hugely important segment. By being the first in, Kia is at an advantage by giving American consumers an electric, zero emissions, three row option.